With more and more states legalizing cannabis, the need for stickers on short-run packaging and branded accessories is experiencing significant growth. Hi, I'm Mike Goodwin and welcome to Graphic Insights. This channel is all about helping you grow your wide format graphics business by providing sales and marketing strategies, how-to videos, media and equipment reviews, industry news, and more. In this video, we will review the best type of printer and media to help you create colorful packaging that will leave your customers coming back and wanting more. First up, let's talk stickers and labels. For typical clear and white vinyl stickers, any EcoSol UV or latex resin printer will work. The label for this type of packaging do not need to last for years, so there is no need to laminate. That said, a print cut all-in-one machine like the Roland BG3 or Mamaki CJV150 would be the easiest to print and cut all-in-one function to produce colorful die-cut stickers in any shape or size up to 60 inches wide. The price of these printers ranges from $14,000 to $16,000 at the time of this recording and allow you to send one file to the printer and when finished, you have die cut stickers. Although all-in-one machines are the easiest, they are not the fastest way to produce stickers. See the link to the video above where I explain why. For the fastest production of die cut stickers, I would recommend the Epson S8600 print cut combo. The Epson combo separates printing and cutting, offering you a faster workflow. The print cut combo from Epson comes in around $22,000 at the time of this recording. The reason I recommend these three printers is that they all offer an extended ink set beyond the typical CMYK lights and light magenta, giving you a wider color gamut and that punch in colors that this market is known for in demands. A side note, the Roland BG3 offers the widest color gamut in the print cut combo with their light black, orange, green, and white ink configurations. Now, if you're looking to expand your media offering to include holographic, gold, chrome, and other unique medias, then you're gonna need a UV or latex resin printer as most of these medias are not coded for EcoCell ink. Sticking with the ease of use, I'm going to suggest print and cut all-in-one UV printer from Roland or Mamaki. UV ink will allow you to elevate your products by offering white ink for an underbase, double-sided printing, or white accents. The clear UV ink printer offers raised textures or subtle gloss accents on a matte finish for that extra wow factor. The Roland MG640 or Mamaki UC JV33160 are great print cut all-in-one choices. The 64-inch Mamaki offers a CMYK light cyan, light magenta, white clear, and has a price of $30,000. The Roland MG640 with its CMYK gloss, white, red, and orange ink set will give you an extended color gamut for more vibrant colors. I mentioned but did not recommend latex or resin printers. These printers are capable of printing on the uncoated unique medias like holographic, chrome, and others. But not all media is qualified or can take the curing heat of latex printers. In addition to the heat, they are not capable of printing textures or spot gloss. If you're looking to print directly onto packaging products, especially cylindrical objects, objects like jars, tubes, and cases, then Roland and Mamaki have solutions for you. The Roland Versa Object MO240 and the Mamaki UJF6042 are both UV printers that are capable of printing directly onto objects. The Mamaki UJF6042 offers a CMYK light cyan, light magenta, white clear ink configuration, while the Roland Versa Object MO240 with its additional red-orange ink configuration allowing for more color pop and overall wider color gamut, along with a primer for glass and some acrylic surfaces. The Versa Object offers six ink configurations, making it the most flexible printer for color options in its class. Both the Mamaki and Roland printers offer aftermarket attachments that have the ability to print on cylindrical objects. All of the equipment mentioned above is perfect up to a thousand pieces. If you're looking for higher quantities or bags that are cut into specific shapes, those are typically done on commercial printers for manufacturers like Durst or HP and require special finishing equipment to fold, seal, and add zippers. I hope you found this video helpful and if so, please consider subscribing. Let me know if you're interested in detailed videos about any of the printers mentioned in this video.